This property report is powered by realestate.com.au. Know the value of your home today. Track your property now. To property now and houses are in hot demand. That's according to a new report from REA Insights. It's found inquiries for houses have surged by 79.7% year on year. That's compared to a 51.1% increase in inquiries on units. Joining me now live is John Healy from realestate.com.au, part of the REA group. John, good afternoon. Home buyers are clearly favouring houses, but where are the most in-demand suburbs for houses around the country? Well, good afternoon, Danica. And serious buyers have been favouring suburbs with very strong lifestyle factors in the past 12 months. So uh, suburbs with lots of space and on the beach side have been very popular. We're also seeing demand in outer capital city areas and near capital city areas really take off amid COVID as more people uh, begin working from home and continue working more flexibly uh, into the future post the pandemic as well. So if we have a look around our top five most in-demand suburbs nationally for houses, uh, we can see that Butterham on the Sunshine Coast is leading the way there. Just outside Brisbane, to the north obviously, uh, a little way outside, it is getting a lot of interest. More than 42,000 serious buyers looking at Butterham in the last 12 months. And that beachside theme continues with Mount Martha in Victoria, of course, on the Mornington Peninsula, and Frankston, which is just a stone's throw from the Mornington Peninsula as well. Then we have those outer suburban areas of Sydney and Melbourne. So Berwick in Melbourne and Kellyville in the outer areas of Sydney. Both of those suburbs actually almost identical distances to their respective CBDs. That sort of area offers families potentially a bigger home, more space as well, which people have been craving during the pandemic. And what we mean by a serious buyer or a high intent buyer is a user on realestate.com.au that is close to making a purchase, largely due to their behaviour on site. So they've interacted with a listing multiple times or in a variety of ways. So they're, they're close to making a purchase and really looking closely at those particular suburbs. So good news for people looking at selling in those areas and similar areas uh, this year. If we have a look now at the most in-demand suburbs for uh, the most, the biggest suburbs that have grown the most in demand this year, this list gives us another look. So we can see already some very regional areas with the biggest growth in demand, led off there by the Gem Fields in central Queensland. It's grown in demand more than 430% year on year, which is quite extraordinary. And then we have other suburbs uh, around those agricultural, rural and uh, farming districts like Mitchell uh, in, in also in Queensland and Gilgandra in New South Wales and Blaney also in New South Wales. It will be really interesting to see though if these really regional areas continue to grow in demand as the country continues to navigate its way through COVID. And speaking of demand, John, it does appear to be outstripping supply with auction clearance rates. They're up right around the country. That's right. Auction clearance rates remain extremely strong right around our capital city markets, up in almost every market week on week last week. If we have a look at Sydney now, 95.5% clearance rate there just speaks to the incredible buyer demand that we're seeing in that market. Melbourne's clearance rate last week as well of 88% is also terrific. It had a super Saturday in Melbourne last weekend, more than a thousand homes going to auction in that market. So on the results available, that is a very, very strong market. The ACT though, leading the way there with a 95.7% clearance rate, albeit on fewer auctions. Now, looking ahead to this weekend, are we expecting a lot of activity around the country tomorrow, John? 
We really are. There's more than 2,400 homes scheduled to go to auction around our major capital city markets tomorrow. That's up 23% week on week. Sydney is expecting its biggest auction weekend of the year. More than 830 homes to go under the hammer there. And Melbourne due to host its fourth Super Saturday in five weeks. Another 1,200 homes scheduled to go to auction there. So great numbers right around those capital city markets. John Healy from realestate.com.au. Thank you. We'll speak to you again next week.